Hey, I'm Matt with Sosinzi. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be digging into what is the New Living Translation. We're going to be going through a couple different Bible translations just to show you all the different things that they represent, how they were created, all that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. From the new from Tyndale, Tyndale is the publisher of the New Living Translation. They say that the New Living Translation combines the latest biblical scholarship with a clear, dynamic writing style that communicates God's word powerfully to all who hear and read it. It renders the message of the original text of Scripture into clear, contemporary English that was written to be read aloud. With a focus on clarity, the New Living Translation invites readers to go deeper into the biblical text to discover God's story for their lives and the world. I like the New Living Translation. It is my preferred Bible that I like to read when I'm specifically just reading the Bible. When, I, when I'm looking in, looking up scripture or when I'm memorizing scripture, my go-to is going to be the New Living Translation. It's just my preferred translation that I like about. Let's take a look at the uh, common questions that they've answered some of the most common questions that they receive. The first question they answer is what method did the translators use in making the NLT? And so they say that the English Bible translations tend to be governed by one of two general translation theories. The first theory has been called the formal equivalence or literal or word for word translation. The second theory has been called dynamic equivalence, functional equivalence or thought for thought translation. The translators set out to render the message of the original text of scripture into clear contemporary English, and they did so. They kept the concerns of both formal equivalence and meaning based in mind. In the New Living Translation is they take in both the account. That's why I like the NLT because I think it splits right down the middle and they use their own language to do so. I think this is going to be, I think this question is going to be huge, especially as, as you dig deep. Is the NLT considered a good translation for serious study? We live in an age where there are multiple translations of the Bible in English. Many of these are very similar to one another, especially those produced according to the formal equivalence or word for word approach. And there are only so many ways mm, a text can be translated literally. The advantage of a dynamic equivalence or thought for thought translation translation is that it can provide fresh insights into Bible text. Therefore, serious students of the Bible will benefit from use of the NLT along with various word for word translations to gain a fuller grasp of the meaning of scripture. When you go to Tyndale's website for the New Living Translation, you can learn all about their translation process, their objectives, their philosophy, their methodology, where you can see questions, you can see how they set out to see the primary goals of the New Living Translation. They, you can see a statement from the committee. You can see how the translation philosophy affects the character of a translation. You can see the translation process for the NLT and the how were the scholars chosen. What ancient texts did the New Living Translation team use in their work? What are some of the historical and cultural barriers that the NLT translators sought to overcome? So if you go, if you go up to the about section and you click on meet the scholars. So these are, these are the scholars that Tyndale and the New Living Translation people, but you can see that the New Living Translation has many, many people on their committee. They have a lot of people in their scholars. It wasn't just maybe a few people here and there, but all different sorts of universities, different seminaries. Now, what Tyndale offers you is they give you a list of favorite verses, um, different passages you can choose from. I chose Romans 8, 28, and it says, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. So that's how the New Living Translation will translate for Romans 8, 28. So the Uversion app, or the U, not the Uversion app, but the Uversion website, the app might let you as well. I think it does. I'm not quite sure. If you go on the website for Uversion and the, and the Bible app on the website, that if you go to the top, whatever you choose, you choose Romans 8, you have your translation. Next to it is Parallel. If you click on Parallel, it will now split up the thing into two different ones so you can compare your nlt with a, another translation like an english standard so in romans 8 1 of the nlt it says so now there's no condemnation for those who belong to christ jesus in romans 8 1 for the english standard version they say there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in 
Christ Jesus. And and one last thing, and I think this is what the heart of the New Living Translation is, is they have this section called written to be spoken. And so they said, it is evident in scripture that the biblical documents were written to be read aloud, often in public worship. It is still the case today that there are people who will hear the Bible read aloud in church that are likely to read it for themselves. Therefore, a translation must communicate with clarity and power when it is read aloud for this reason the new living translation has been intentionally crafted to be ideally suited for public reading its living language is not only easy to understand but also has an emotive quality that will make an impact on listeners the nlt speaks right to the heart and minds of listeners because they immediately understand this message without having to process technical language that is the new living translation if you but if you found this video helpful feel free to subscribe to the channel as we're going to be i'm going to be putting out more videos like this talking about the different translations we're going to go through as many translations as possible so that people will find this and hopefully that something if you're looking for a new bible that the nlt will be something that you might dig into that you like and use it for yourself have a great one we'll see you in the next video peace